Hey, just wanted to make a quick little update. Um, what's been going on is still in my end of the woods, more of the same, but weirder, worse, and in such a way that it just stalls anything productive or forward. And it seems as if we're all wildly aware of the trauma that we're experiencing, the harm that's being committed, but we just can't get those words out of our bodies. That's the problem. And that's a scary notion when we think about the level of censorship in the world and um, limitation that we're all experiencing, but are unable to even express. Uh, I certainly can, and I'm, I feel as if there's others like me that can, but due to the nature of what's occurring in the overload and the level of misinformation and um, through this synthetic telepathy, voice cloning, AI, it's just a big clusterfuck of bullshit. I find that they are, um, through the synthetic telepathy, their whole intent is to twist apart and misinform and to piss us off and make us feel like we don't have the comfort to be who we are. Um, and I can't help but feel like those tensions are going to come to a head at some point. But right now, it's like we're going through a subconscious world shift into the wrong direction, a more socialist direction that is peppered with um, evil, to, be, to put it quite bluntly. This is the work of the devil through and through, like I've stated many times. And the whole intention here is to, is to keep us um, out of whack, off center, and unable to do anything productive, especially in terms of speaking about this. That's why I never feel crazy. I just know that the world itself is flipped upside down. And like I had seemed to have predicted, this level of war down, wear down with the voice to skull, and synthetic telepathy, and outside influencing, it is creating a generation of people who are mind-controlled automatons that don't really make their own decisions. They fall in line. They're going through their little um, structured rut. <laughs> um, there are cogs in the machine. It's the weirdest thing because I can't even say this to people, which is why I get it out through this YouTube channel. But the people around me are not people anymore. The world has lost its sheen. There is a fake, hollow, weirdly uh, absent kind of spiritual presence on this earth um, that I can't really even describe. It's just the way of the universe right now is dictated by evil and it is working through people um, to stall any kind of meaningful progression or knowledge. The powers that be that have orchestrated this, the perpetrators, they seem to really hate people who are awoken and, and who have a brain that can critically think. So naturally they're going to, going to attack people like me much more with direct energy weapons and try to ruin our lives uh, through orchestrated incidents, events, that sort of thing, uh, for the, not only for their sick pleasure, but because we're smart enough to see through their bullshit and they want us to have miserable lives as a result. Um, but it hasn't really slowed me down in terms of me trying to figure out what's going on and stay ahead of that while also living my life. Um, I just began a uh, back to working a day job as a telemarketer. I can seem to kind of balance both um, pretty well. So it's just another challenge that the devil is presenting me, basically, is the, is the way I choose to view it. Um, but it seems as if everybody around me is wildly aware some of the time that this is happening. You can see the horror and the shock on their faces, and they just can't express how they feel. We live in a world where uh, it's um, to express your feelings uh, and be truthful with somebody is a toxic thing. We're encouraged to be disingenuous, um, the outside influencing and the manipulation from all different factors like direct energy weapons, nanotechnology, um, otherworldly influence. That sort of thing is changing people and it's harming the planet, but it's holding off any kind of, um, any kind of speaking about it while also it's holding off any kind of actual detriment from it. I can't help but feel like, um, that's our encouragement to not speak about it is to, um, not have a, as horrible of a life or, or, or people might seem to think that they won't uh, orchestrate as many problems or, um, failures if we play along with their uh, system of conspiracy. And I simply cannot. I, I never will. I don't think I ever can. It's just not in my constitution to be somebody who will allow another human being to control me or to um, influence the situation. That's why they get into the people around me. That's why these gang stalkers do what they do. They love to get people around you, close to you, involved, to twist them away from you. They don't want you to have a support system. They don't want you to be truthful with anybody. They want it to be more appealing to be a huge sack of shit and have to play along. Because say, for instance, you're a huge sack of shit who's cheating or using drugs. These gang stalkers know it because they're nearly monitoring you. They use that against you. They, um, it's leverage against you. 
So keep in mind, um, make the better decisions and you'll probably live easier. Um, the epic gaslight that I keep mentioning is that all this shit's being revealed or will be revealed by the end of it whenever they see that um, they might have consequences for their actions for committing this conspiracy and harming the public in such a way. Then it's like the devil using and abusing you and just spitting you out. That's pretty much... Whoop, I dropped it. <laughs> No, that's pretty much the deal on that. Um, I saw through the bullshit very early on. Most people are just dumb they're, and they don't care. They have very little motivation to be better people. Um, I suppose they will at some point in the future is what I predict. But um, that's their cross to bear. We all have our own crosses to bear, so to speak. Um, I did write a couple things down. Pretty much the world we live in, everyone's shame and lack of accountability is what's perpetuating this and, and their continuation and playing along with it or just not observing it at the very least. Uh, it's all designed to make people like me feel crazy who I definitely know something more, more so than the average bear I like to believe without uh, at the risk of sounding vain I definitely am a very intelligent person who thinks pragmatically and um, sees the big picture so they can't really sway me in trying to convince me that I'm wrong or that uh, I have a reason to uh, question my own beliefs which brings me to the point too that uh, what they do they seem to manipulate people around you to be a source of gaslighting if you ever get too woke or if there's anything too validating that you might hear through the synthetic telepathy. They, they really don't want the synthetic telepathy talked about because so much has been discussed through it. So much has been heard through it. I've recorded bits and pieces of it and I keep it on my little audio recorder right here. I would recommend you do so as well. It's time stamped and everything. Um, it's little ways that like this that we need to think in order to better live through this time period because it's going to be never a good thing, never really pleasant or fun. There's just varying levels of horror, agony, and confusion, and sadness. Um, it's been horribly isolating for me. Uh, people are just not the same, and you can bet your ass that they're, that they're gonna be the wrong version of themselves at the, right, at the wrong time to fuck your shit up, hopefully. So it's, in a way, uh, for I've had to pick and choose my battles. I'm just better off being around nobody than the wrong people right now. I can at least cultivate a mindset and try to live through this shit. Uh, with if, if I'm around some toxic ass piece of shit, um, then that wouldn't happen. They would bog me down. I just refuse to let them steal my time. Uh, there's a lot of energy vampires out there in the world that are trying to do just that. So don't let these uh, don't let these succubuses get you down. Um, if if you have to put your, uh, a firm foot down to establish um, barriers, um, then go ahead and do so put boundaries up uh, against these narcissistic pieces of shit who are going to feel the need to pry into your lives. Um, find peace from within. Like I keep saying, uh, meditate, be spiritual. Just focus on being a better person because this is going to result in the end of times and societal collapse. Um, they're hoping that the level of implication and involvement grows. That way um, there's less of a chance of them being found out. It perpetuates it. So pick and choose your battles. Uh, they're doing the work of the devil and they're wanting you to as well. I seem to think that many global elitists are involved in this. Um, this thing goes very deep. The rabbit hole goes deep and it, and it gets further by the day and the world becomes more and more of a toxic place and a shithole every second. So <laughs> try to find the good in the little things and find peace from within because if you're looking for peace from, from other people, you might be barking up the wrong tree. People, most people are not the same now. Um, I would love to speak to somebody candidly about how I feel about this because I'm sure there's other people that feel identically and hopefully they have the, the able uh, able the ability or the will to reach out because my number is on that fucking channel. We need to start talking about this. That scares the people committing this conspiracy. The fact that people could or would speak about something so weird and bizarre. I'm not scared to. I have a tactful way of approaching up just about anything and I feel like it's, I feel as if I can figure out what to say and it be genuine and not disingenuous and shit. So. Anyway... Um, I also feel as if this is all going to come to a head and, and nothing really is going to happen to value or substance or purpose until everything happens. They are orchestrating so many problems within people's lives that they just don't even see coming because they're so focused on the little details that um, it's going to probably cause a huge collapse. Um, I seem to think um, they'll be rolling blackouts. Um, a suicide epidemic will probably cause there to be less people to fulfill the infrastructure that we have. And we're going to start to notice deficits, like rolling blackouts that'll eventually just become whoop, no power. Um, then we're back to nature, you guys. I can probably live in a tent and be happy. Can you? Probably not. That's the state of the world. We're also um, fed into consumption and consumerism, materialism. 
that we don't give a flying fuck about our roots or nature, who we are as people anymore. And that's sad as fuck. But uh, I see that happening. Um, I can see hunger, disease being a problem. Just because, think about if we have a suicide epidemic, there's less people here. Then there's less people uh, powering the grid. And which means that there's less... How do you pump gas into a vehicle without electricity? How, how does a bank work without internet? Banks would freeze. See, it's little things like that that people just don't seem to think about that I consider all the time. That's why I know that we're going to be living through the end of days at some point in the near future. And it's good to get right with God and just be a better person and don't commit yourself to being how you were. If you have been do, uh, involved in this, in this conspiracy and you're watching this, stop. Don't fucking do it. Don't neurally monitor people unless you're not interfering. Gradually work your way down if you know who I'm talking to and I'm referring to by this. Um... Basically, and then to end it, the planet is going to turn into zombies that are going to wake up when the bubble pops and this whole uh, otherworldly influence uh, dissipates. They're going to wake up horrified, confused, humiliated, and probably depressed enough to kill themselves for real. There's probably a lot of people held on artificially um, from taking their lives, which is sad. It's fucked up what's happening. But I urge that people reach out and do what they can. You have to think creatively and differently during this time period if you expect to get ahead or get a head stretch if you expect to keep living and um, be a human being anyway feel free to reach out do your thing and god bless peace